Our newly elected Johannesburg Mayor Jeff Makuba says the city will have a new executive. He believes they'll be able to constitute his mayoral committee by the end of the weekend. Makuba also confirming the ANC will be entering into a f official or formal coalition rather with uh, some of the uh, smaller parties who helped to regain control of the metro. We continue our conversation with him tonight. Uh, Mayor, let's talk then about the kind of horse trading that took place behind the scenes with those smaller parties to earn their support to get you into the seat. What did you promise them in exchange? Many, many of these, uh, many of these uh, parties that, uh, that we've agreed with now have been uh, in coalition with, uh, with, uh, with the Democratic Alliance and they've been unhappy the way they've been treated by, by, by their senior partner in the previous coalition. So the talks were not very difficult. Um, we, we then agreed that we'll govern together. We'll see what they take. So we're still going to win those discussions tomorrow. But the agreement is sealed that uh, uh, they'll, be, they'll be governing with us. I wonder to what extent have these parties raised concerns that we have seen both the EFF and the DA raise, in particular around the kind of questions that you're facing, the corruption allegations that have been made against you? Well, as far as I, I understand, um, there the is no corruption allegation against me except the twist by the Democratic Alliance. The article by Ama Pungani, if you read it, it says two things. One, that I worked as an influencer, and two, that by the time I joined the city, I was an influence, I was, I was conflicted. I responded comprehensively last year when the first article came out, um, and I, I wrote to the public protector, and I wrote internally to the ANC to say there are these allegations that I think they are not true, that they must be tested. Uh, and, and processes were unfolding to, to investigate th those, th those, uh, those allegations. Now, now to regurgitate the same allegations 12 months later, the story is stagnant, there is no proof, no one is providing any proof. The city said they did a forensic, uh, forensic investigation. I personally wrote to the speaker around about February last, uh, this year, to say, Speaker, please release all the probity reports and the investigation reports on, on this matter. He wrote back to me and said he's still applying his mind. It's December now, and all they do is to regurgitate uh, the allegations. They know that there's nothing that, that can be, uh, uh, that's, that's tangible that, com that comes out of that article. I wonder then, when you think about this position that you, you have taken, of course, previously part of the reason why the ANC did not get an outright majority in that 2016 vote is um, perceptions around corruption and the extent to which um, the ANC governed Johannesburg was intrinsically corrupt. I wonder when you think about what you're bringing uh, to this term of office, what can the city, uh, the residents of the city of Joburg look forward to under your leadership? Like today we said in our press briefing that uh, we will be accelerating service delivery. We are worried about uh, the daily experiences of the, of the citizens of Johannesburg. When you wake up today, when you wake up this morning, robots were not working, there were no pointsmen, uh, there was gridlock in the city, uh, open spaces are not being maintained, grass is not cut, parks in the townships, uh, in Riverlin, Soweto are not being maintained, uh, cemeteries are not being well maintained. So, so just the, the lived experiences of the citizens of Johannesburg will be improved. Of course, on a transformational side, we'll be focusing on a rollout of infrastructure, uh, social infrastructure, economic infrastructure, uh, backlogs, we'll be dealing with backlogs, and, 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 and de deal decisively with an um, upgrade of aging infrastructure. Sure. I wonder then, at the same time, how much work you're going to also be putting in into fostering better relationships with uh, the other parties that are in council, being the DA and the EFF, who uh, so far, whose support you don't seem to have uh, enjoyed so far? In my acceptance speech yesterday, I reached out to all parties. I told them that the time of a toxic, divisive leadership in the city that we've experienced in the last three years is over. I, I said I'll be working with every single uh, party that's there. I'll talk to them. 
uh, will, will, will come together, especially when we deal with IDP, because in our, it's in our interest that we service the people of Johannesburg and there's, there's harmony in, 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 in the city of Johannesburg. There are 135 wards in Johannesburg. Uh, 85 of them are ANC wards and the rest are DA wards. Every single ward uh, must be serviced because residents of Johannesburg live in those wards. So, so I've reached out to them. It's up to them to take the offer uh, because I don't see them as enemies. They were just political opponents, uh, and we have to work together for, in the interest of, of, of the residents of Johannesburg. I wonder which of the policies that had been implemented by the former mayor, Herman Mashaba, will you now be bringing forth or will you be continuing with, especially when we see uh, some of those policies that they brought in around issues like insourcing, which um, had been highly praised in terms of the kind of security that they've been able to offer workers that wasn't there before. We will be reviewing what, uh, what uh, has been, was done by, by Herman Mashaba, and we are the first to say whatever is working and what worked will maintain, and if it's a good foundation, we'll build on it. Uh, we, and then whatever did not work will change. In our view, uh, given the quarterly reports that are presented in council, even the council that, that we come from uh, the, on the agenda with quarterly reports, there's a lot of things that are not working in the city of Johannesburg that needs fixing. And when we talk to things like insourcing, which is very internal about, about the workers. We have to look, look, look at insourcing and say, how do we improve it? Um, you know, one, one of the cleaners came to us while we were still uh, in opposition uh, to show us her pay slips that her contract says you're only working four hours, 16 minutes, and she ends in the region of 4,000 rands. She was just saying instead, it's better for her to have been outside than inside because this thing of insourcing is not working for her. She's taking home less. So it's those things that we have to confront. We have to look at financial sustainability of the city and to ensure that there are enough funds to, to, to finance those, uh, those, those programs like insourcing. Because we think that he did that uh, on a populist stance. Uh, however, we'll be consolidating what he did uh, so that the, the, the employees can, can, can earn, earn better salaries. Of course, one of the things that has always come out from uh, the ANC benches within the, jo the Joburg Council is an allegation that part of the reason why the EFF did not vote with you is because they're afraid that uh, you've conducted an audit into some of the agreements that they entered into with the Democratic, under the Democratic Alliance, some of which you believe may be corrupt. So I wonder, as far as forensic investigations go to, uh, uh, to scrutinize the kind of contracts that have been entered into, will you be deliberately uh, taking any of those on? From where we're sitting, we're not aware of any contracts that were entered into between the EFF um, and the city of Johannesburg. All we, we read about in the newspapers is about um, uh, companies linked to the EFF. So, so we've never made that allegation that uh, we are aware of any contracts. Uh, of course, we will be looking at, um, at supply chain. We'll be looking at um, the, the reports we get that the fleet, the fleet provider has not been paid and they are threatening to... To, to take back the cars. We'll be looking at uh, the ICT, why the ICT was, was uh, shut down for two, three days because of non-payment. So, so we will, why, why certain of the contracts are on regu what's called Regulation 32, uh, which, you, which when you use the uh, contract of another municipality, I mean, there's a, there's a, con there's a letter that I saw where, where they were going to do revenue enhancement uh, using a, a, a contract of a very small city in Tavaz uh, small town, uh, Tavazimbi municipality. So it doesn't make sense to us. So those are things that we'll be looking at. But we're not, we're not, we, we're here to focus on, on service delivery. The people come first. We're not, not going to be consumed by forensic audits and trying to chase ghosts. Uh, however, things that do not make sense, we'll send them to the group forensic and investigation unit that's there. Uh, they'll do their work and they'll do the investigation. My preoccupation as mayor, of course, is clean governance, uh, is, le is, is rooting out corruption, dealing with malfeasance. Uh, in the main, but in the main, we'll be focusing on the people of Johannesburg.
A significant portion of your work is also going to have to be a balancing act as far as ma managing the various interests that are at play within this coalition. You're, you know, you're, you're going into agreement here with many uh, entities who you would have to be keeping happy uh, and making sure that they're on the same board, they're on board with you because that could then jeopardize whatever council is able to pass going forward. How do you think that um, the, the managing of that relationship is going to be if you are to remain mayor until at the very least the next local elections? We, we will be managing that, uh, that coalition. The, the advantage with, uh, with the us and the coalition partners is in the main, we, we share the same constituencies. Uh, we ideologically not far apart from each other. We, we, the, we agree on the basics. If you look at the manifesto of, 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 of the manifestos of the, of, of the parties that uh, we are in, in coalition with, they are very similar to the African National Congress. So we have a base to, to build from. Of course, we'll be having what you call a coalition manifesto that will be put in together to guide how we work, to have a minimum agreement. And we think we'll be able to manage the coalition and keep it together. And in terms of also ensuring that those who are in the ANC benches who feel that maybe they should be forming part of your mayoral committee, but of course we already heard the Secretary General of the organization said, saying that not everybody is going to get the position that perhaps they may have been, been hoping for. What is the managing of those relationships going to look like internally? The, the internal management of the ANC caucus uh, is not a problem. Um, and, and, and comrades are aware that uh, we are in a coalition and that uh, ours is to service our people. It's not about personal glory or personal benefit. Sure. I wonder then, um, in the hundred years, the f not hundred years, apologies, the first hundred days of your being office once uh, it has officially been promulgated in council and the swearing in has, has taken place, which top three areas would you want um, residents of, of Gauteng to be able to look at where there will be a tangible difference uh, that you will focus on and really try to uh, bring improvements to? The first, as I said, uh, will be looking at what in the city they call visible service delivery, uh, where, where in every community feels that their, their city government is caring for them and caring for the basic services. The second that we'll be focusing on is um, the, the, the three inner cities, the, the three inner cities uh, that includes the main inner city, uh, it's, it's dirty, uh, it needs cleaning. We need to change the look and feel of the inner city. We, we need to look, change the look and feel of the runback inner city uh, and the road uh, uh, inner city. So we'll be focusing on those inner cities uh, uh, to make sure that they are clean, uh, they are town, they are places where people can live work and play. And lastly, um, we, we will be focusing on, 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 on informal settlements uh, where, where the services are, are still at level, level of service one, uh, where, where there's not enough water being piped there. So those, those will be our focus as, uh, in, the, in, the, in the next 100 days. Sure. Be before I let you go then, uh, we, we're watching, of course, today the um, Mayor Mongameli Bobani in the Nelson Mandela Bay Metro, he was uh, voted out through a motion of no confidence. In Tswane, the same is expected where uh, Stevens Mohalaba is concerned. So as somebody who is entering then a leadership position within the Metro, what do you think it's going to take for you to be able to stay in that seat, perhaps longer than your predecessor or even uh, some of the others that we're seeing in the other uh, key metros in the country? F f firstly, we, we, we did say that we try and work with everyone to ensure that there's harmony. And I think in, in, in metros, uh, in municipalities where there's no harmony, where there's uh, toxicity, where there's divisions, where people talk past each other. That's where you find this type of instability in, in coalition-led governments. So we'll be reaching out to all parties and working with them. We'll be ensuring that we service not only um, wards of the ANC, we service every ward and every can ward councillor 
feels that they are part of the city. So, so we will be, will be, will be keeping the coalition together and not only that, working with those who don't vote for you. Over time, we think that we'll find each other with both the EFF and the DA. All right, let's leave it there uh, for tonight. The newly installed mayor of the city of Johannesburg, Jeff Makubo. We'll take a short break. Mark Lewis is standing by with your sport after this. Please stay with us. Thank you.